Welcome to the first baseball insider of the 2014 season. Matt Carney joined by the head coach of the Chippewas, Steve Jackson. Coach, tough start to your season. What did your staff take away from those four games out in Las Vegas? Well, you learn a lot every time you go out and play. And, um, you know, we, we had a couple areas that we that we didn't play quite as well as we would have liked to. Um, we, we felt um, we felt defensively we could have been a little bit better, thought we were going to be a little bit better than what we were. I felt our two-strike approach is something that you're going to have two strikes. It doesn't matter what. It could be 3-2, three, 2-2, two, 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 it doesn't matter what it is. But you're going to get the two strikes somewhere in the course of the ball game quite a few times, and uh, our two-strike approach needs to improve a little bit. And I think if those two things improve, and um, you know, then I, I think we'll do better this coming weekend. And talk about your two new additions to the starting rotation, freshman Nick Deeg and sophomore Adam Aldred. What did you see from them in their first weekend starts at the college level? Well, I think um, I think what you see in both of those lefties that we had out there, you know, of course, one one is a as a true freshman and the other is a sophomore. You know, we were pleased with both their performances. We think Nick's going to get nothing but better out there as he as he learns to compete at the college level and I actually thought Adam was just a touch better you know Adam was able to have better command of his pitches across the board and, and really did a nice job so both of them showed the kind of poise we want them to show you know out on the mound and uh, and that was good and I, I think they'll both continue continue to get better and uh, and we need that consistency out of those guys. We're joined by second baseman Pat McKenzie. Pat what are your expectations here? Uh, you know I try to not put too many expectations on it I guess uh, if I want to say goals would just be being positive, keeping keeping guys positive, and it's going to be a long season, and I have the experience to set an example for the younger guys. And you guys played those four games out in Las Vegas against UNLV. Tough result for you, but what are you going to take out of those four games out in Las Vegas? Um, yeah, tough tough games. Um, we didn't play to our best ball, so uh, I guess the one thing we can take away from it is we got to string it together. You know, you got to. You got to string hits together, at bats together. You got to make the pitches when you got to make the pitches and make the plays in the field. And uh, we just couldn't seem to get it all going all together at one time. So that's the results you're going to get. And now this weekend you head down to Alabama to take on the Troy Trojans. What do you need to do to come back to Mount Pleasant with your first couple of victories of 2014? Uh, I think be a little more aggressive. I think we need to be a little, the aggressors a little more and put pressure on the other team. You know, again, go back to stringing some stuff together, get some momentum going. That definitely helps, and you can set the tone by getting a nice W on Friday for the rest of the weekend.